In this chapter we will be learning about simple machines. And a simple machine is exactly that. It is a simple machine. So we're not talking about complicated machines such as an automobile or a computer. We're talking about very simple machines and not just any simple machine. Most of the literature on this topic uh, has a list of six specific simple machines. Very, very simple devices which can be put together to make larger, more complicated machines. And as an introduction here, I'm just going to name the six simple machines and draw a little sketch. And you can write this down in your notes and draw a little sketch of each one. And then we'll go into more detail on each of them later. But let's look at the six simple machines first and talk about some things that they all have in common. The first one is a lever. And we usually draw a little triangle here called the fulcrum. And then there's something, a, a rigid beam, a board perhaps, that's placed across the fulcrum. And you can put a mass here. Say there's a heavy weight on this end. We'll call it M for mass. And you need, you need to lift it. You're trying to lift it up. Well, if you put a downward force here on the lever, you get an upward force on the other end. And the lever can multiply the force how much force you put in determines how much force you you get out but it also depends on this distance the distance from the fulcrum to one force and the distance from the fulcrum to the other those distances cause the forces to be different and if you have a nice long lever arm on this end you can get a lot of force out the other end and there are other types of levers as well but that's one of them and that's a simple machine Another simple machine is the wheel and axle. And you can draw a wheel and axle like this. You want to try to make it 3D. Here's a circle. Seen from the edge, it's an ellipse. And draw, a, so this is like a, a cylindrical object. That's the axle. And then the wheel is fastened on the end. Something like this. So that might be kind of tricky to draw, but that's the wheel and axle. And the two pieces are fastened together as one rigid object. And you can see that if you turn the axle, if you rotate this, rotate the axle, then the wheel will also rotate. But because they're different sizes, you get a different distance. A small movement around the rim of the wheel, or around the rim of the axle, results in a large movement around the rim of the wheel and that's considered one of the simple machines the wheel and axle a pulley is also considered a simple machine and we typically draw it like this draw a horizontal line and put these little lines that we call hash marks that's a standard engineering diagram for a ceiling or a wall and we'll put a little rope hanging from the ceiling and onto the rope is fastened a pulley so the rope or bracket comes down here and fastens to the axle of the pulley and the pulley can rotate and you might have a rope thrown over the pulley like this and there's a mass down here that we need to lift so we'll say M for mass and if you pull on this rope down here say you exert a force in this direction that will result in an upward force on the mass so pretty simple but the key thing here is that we can change the direction of the force we pull down in this direction and we end up with an upward force in that direction and that's what the pulley does it changes the direction of the force now you can also have more complicated systems of pulleys that will multiply the force and we'll talk about those later as well but for now just understand that a pulley is a type of simple machine.